Ooh. Wow, when it comes Queen Jack 5 with two diamonds, Jajaga flops the Royal Flush Draw. Farat in the lead with the Jacks. I imagine you're going to see a bet from Jajaga here. And that bet is for absolutely all of it. Yeah, That's 8.8 .8 into about 2.4. It's, it's a hefty raise, and if you're wrong with that Jack, you're, you're going to need help. If you're up against... A queen, you're gonna, you know, you don't have many outs. If you're yeah. against a jack, you're almost dead. Real tough spot here. It's why you don't really want to defend with these type hands because even when you flop something, they're just so hard to play. To play it well, you have to really nail it. Like trips, two pair, it's just so hard. No, no, sure. No, no. Ace, queen, ace, queen, ace, queen. Ace, queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. We've got aces for Ricci here. On he's, the button. He's going to like to look down at this. I mean, what a spot. When you've been playing a lot <laughs> of hands relative to the table and you're on the button, you know the players think you're active and you pick up two aces. He's going to raise to 600,000, his standard raise, far hot. Suited king in the small blind against an active player on the button. We saw he liked the jack deuce. 10, 9, 6, 2 spades. He's got a flush draw. He's likely Perhaps. gonna make a big check raise here, I think. We're Ooh, on a collision Ricci course, checks. and Ricci the snap check back. Seven of diamonds on the turn. That's a scary card, because your opponent here calling, you know, he likely has some eights in his range, or some of those, you know, eight, nine, ten nines. He could have two pair, he could have straights very easily. I think if we see a bet from Farhat, it's really hard to raise. By checking, he disguised his hand, so he likely just calls in position and sees what the river is. And he'll lead here. Small, 650k, about one third. As we see, he's actually a big favorite here, but Ricci calls quickly. By checking back his aces on the flop, he gives his opponent room to to make mistakes, but he also limits his upside. It's going to be really hard. Like he can't raise this river here. He can't. He's not in control. He's strictly got to call if his opponent bets. Now his opponent opt to check. He missed his draws and checked. Farad waving the white flag. Or not. It does open the door for allow him to make a bluff raise. That would be pretty sick. And oh. is he going for it? I think we're going to see. Or is he just faking? Yeah, might. that's what it's looking like right now. The yes. problem with this is you, you can't call here, obviously, with king high. Because it's very unlikely your opponent has like a queen high type hand. So this could just be putting your opponent through a meat grinder. Ooh. He he did call with King wow. Deuce. It's a really interesting call. Ace King again for Zizaga. He's our oldest player at the table. Richie with the Jack Six suited in the small blind. I like this guy. He just likes to play poker. That's true. That's he true. just likes yeah. hands. He's Folding just, hurts. <laughs> he's like, I like hands, Ricci. man. Flops are and fun. He's going to play. Oh. Oh, maybe not. I thought he might have been out a three bet. I really got to get what these chip denominations are, just I'm just curious. I, th I think blues are 25 gays. Yeah, because that makes sense. Yeah, the and then the pink-ish are 100 gays. And he does three bet here. Yep, there we go. Richie, here's the bad news. Hint of Hollywooding here. Yeah. Before the Jack Six enters the muck. Yeah, he's definitely not calling here. I see the chat saying if he calls here. This is pure Hollywood. This right. is, I want my opponent to believe I've got a decision. I three bet him with a really strong hand. And oof, here goes the muck. Not yet. <laughs> I mean, this is getting out of hand. Yes. Especially because it is being streamed and the players, right. it's not, obviously to them it's not live. He can't go look right now, but he will see shortly, maybe at a break, maybe it's at some point. Okay, look, buddy, you had the jack high. Yeah, like, let's just keep it moving. There are only 40 minute levels in this one. Yeah, that's the Get part. Get on to the next hand. That's the part when I'm at the table that really bothers me is that the yeah. levels are so short when other players aren't respectful of that time. It, it really gets me right. going. I'm like, and come on, guys. Pre flop decisions usually are a bit easier as well even if he did have a tough spot which we see he does not <laughs> it's about time to fling the cards into the mock and there they go king six
He says 10 rainbow. Rich snap leads. Five. Minimum 5. <laughs> I thought he was saying raise to 5. I see he's <laughs> 5 million, but he was saying, nope, you can't bet 4. You've got to bet 5. King high, likely the yeah. best hand. It's unlikely your opponent limped an ace here. So it's, you know, and you know richie has been kind of tricky. Richie going to keep coming for it. 1.2. Bet's 1.2 million. Mr. Richie. He's really just trying to represent that he has a jack or a 10. You know, second barrel, fire a second barrel. To your barrel. point, he's not limping many aces. One fifth of his stack here. Six, six one. He's trying to process if I do make this call here, am I going to have to be yeah. do it again on the river? And he does lay it down. Ricci gets it done with the 6 3. Props to Ricci for firing a second bullet. A lot of players. Fire that first bullet and then just give up. Give up right. after that. He's got an ace. ace. Five. I think you've got to go with it here. Yeah. As short as he is, this should be a no-brainer. But here we go. Yeah, just about most of it. There's the all-in. There's the call, and here we go. Oh, no, it was a, the three bet to two point right. four. What I talked about, but it's the same thing. He's all in. Here we go. He's going to get the bad news. He's only got one wow. over card. I feel it this time. Though. I, think oh, the, I think okay. the ace is coming. Patience is rewarded. Doesn't come on the flop, but Krahula does flop the wheel draw. So now looking for an ace or a three. Does that backdoor clubs as well? We got the virtual rail chatting for, chanting for an ace or a three. <laughs> Turn card is the six. Ooh, and now an open-ended straight draw for Krahula. River card, the 10. And that does it for Roman Krahula, our poker dealer out of the Czech Republic. Finishes in fifth place. Ooh, good one for Ricci yeah. on the button. Okay. Here. Oh, and they're telling Zizaga to perfect showing his cards to the reader. All of it. Ricci with 14 bigs moves all in. Barat wakes up with an ace in the small blind. How much? Oh, no. Body. And Farrat is going to go with it. This is a crucial hand. 17K Euro pay jump. We see a six, but there's a king behind it. And Farrat will need another six. Turn card. Oh, it's a six. The turn is a six. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. I was just about to say, well, we still haven't seen that bad beat. Oh, the poker gods are so cruel. And now just two remaining kings for Ricci to find. And you know Ricci is in a lot of pain here. In addition, oh. like, like most people would, but he knows he's got the most experience of these players. He feel He's got to feel like he's the best player of the four. Yeah, the opportunity was there. For Andrea Ricci. Calzoni on the button. Picks up Ooh, Jack 10 one. suited. <laughs> and he's only got a little more than 15 bigs. Jack 10 suited's a good hand. And he says all of it. Jajaga perhaps interested, oh! and we see why. He's had Ace King a lot today. <laughs> How much? <laughs> he will ask for a count. And we know he will put some chips in. I mean, his physical tails are just so classic. The the weak wind strong. The, <laughs> there's no, there's nothing hiding about it. Rot out of the way. Here we go. Matteo Calzoni all in and at risk with that jack ten of spades <clears throat> against Edmund Jajaga's ace king. Calzoni on his feet. Ooh, queen nine seven with oh, one wow. spade. So the open ender for Calzoni. You see, it's about a flip right now. 10, jack, king, eight, running spades. The world has opened up a bit. Turn brings another seven. Calzoni needs some help in the form of a king, a jack, a 10, or an eight. Deuce of hearts, unfortunately. Ricard, 
Oh, that's another nine. And that will do it for Matteo Calzoni entering heads up play. And for heads up, oh. these hands are pretty solid. King, queen. He's going to raise here. Oh, and just like that, Jajaga says all of it. Now we saw Farah call with the A6 off before, and it was like four-handed. Oh, he called. And says call, and let's go, just like that. Wow. Wow. What that mean, that's the Farad all in and at risk with King Queen against the ace nine of Edmund Zhajaga. As we see, he's only a three to two dog. You know, once you raise with money in the pot, I'm not a huge fan with that many big blinds. And you get shoved all in. Zhajaga's only shown really big. This is the worst of the hands he's shown. You know, he's he's ace king, ace king, kings, ace queen. He hasn't really done this. I don't think. I can't recall. Four, oh. four, deuce. Wow. <laughs> they got the deuce. No pain. Part, right? yeah. Ace here, and it's just over. Rot wants to see a glimmer of paint for a glimmer never, of hope. Never. Find it on the turn. Yes! He cannot. It's an ace. It's an ace. It's and just, just like that. That's it. His first live okay. tournament cash is a tournament win. Edmund Jajaga wins the title, wins 147,775 euros. And how about his first World Series of Poker bracelet?